Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another life cycle hook that is NG do check. So what does this NG do check method will do? The NG do check method will run every before every time Angular checks a component template for changes. So that means this NG do check is a little bit different. NG on changes will fire whenever this input has been changed. But NG do check will change every time when the component is getting change direction is being fired. So whenever the change direction is getting fired, then this ng do check will be executed. So you can use this lifecycle hook to manually check for state changes outside of the Angular's normal change detection, manually updating the component state. This method runs very frequently and can significantly impact your page performance. Avoid defining this hook whenever possible. Only use it when you have no alternative. So during initialization, the first ng do check runs after the ng on init. So let's try to check this one. So here I'll be using this ng do check, ng do check. And here I'm using console.log ng do check file. Okay. So ng do check file. Now if I refresh this page, now let's see. <clears throat> so here we are not able to see it, right? So I think uh, ng do check has been fired. Now, if I refresh this page, hopefully this one has to fire. Yeah, here see after the ng on init fired, ng do check has been fired here. So immediately again afterwards, ng do check is also fired. So now here, whenever whenever we have seen the uh, uh, ng on after ng on init, so whenever the template has been rendered and all those things, so then again this ng on init ng do check has been fired. So now ng do check always fires when the components checks for the change direction policy. So now for example, let's say that when the input has been changed, then also ng do check will fire. So here if I try to change the title, see ng on change is fired, then also ng do check is fired. So for example, let's say that I will try to add this name in a set timeout. Okay, set timeout. So when this name property is changing also, then also ng on it will, uh, ng do check will fire. So here I will try to add it and here I will remove this one. And in this one, I will add something around after two seconds. Now, if I refresh this page, so now here ng to check has been fired. See, immediately after ng to check is also fired. I will try to show you console.log set timeout. Okay, now if you try to see here, ng to check is fired. So, set timeout is fired, and again ng to check is fired. So, that means, so whenever you will try to see, so this one I have added it. So whenever you will try to see whenever any variable or any state variable has been changed, this ng do check will be fired. So this one, if you try to write the logic and all those things here, when you use it frequently, so it runs very frequently, right? So whenever you are trying to write some logic here, so it will impact your page's performance. So I avoid using this hook whenever it is possible. So now I will try to show you another scenario before moving on to the next hook ng do check so when this ng do check actually will be useful for example let's say that this input title is a string variable right so this one is a simple data so we are trying to store this primitive data now let's say that this title is you are having uh, something like an object okay so this title is an object name i am using a name is equal to like this okay so now this is our title and here i will be changing this this dot title dot name so i am changing here directly the name and if you go into our app component HTML, so we will be using the title is equal to title. So this one is common. And here in our life cycle cycle hook, so here we are adding something like this, right? So here I will use something like an object and I will make it as a name is equal to empty. Now hopefully everything will work. Now here ng on change is fine and the title you will be able to see the title you are having in name is equal angular basics. And here also in our life cycle hook dot and okay, we are using the name. It's not a problem. Okay. So now, so when this ng on it will fire. So now ng on it has been fine, ng on change is fine. So now I am trying to change the title. So if you try to click on this title, ng on changes has not been fired. And ng do check has been fired. Why? Because ng on changes, so it will not fire for the reference changes. Okay. So whenever, whenever the value in the reference has been changed, uh, has been changed, it will not change. When the reference is changed only, so that means that when the object has been changed, then only it will try to change it. So when it will fire is, for example, let's go. 
here we are trying to change it right this dot title is equal to name and when you write it like this then only it will change see here now let's try to click on this title so now i am trying to change the title now this time ng1 change is fine why because we are assigning a new object to this one so that means the object reference has been changed so when you are trying to change the only the properties inside a particular object means ng on change will not fail so this is one thing which you need to understand so very very much important you need to understand and also for example let's say that you are having an another uh, uh, another not variable uh, what i want to tell you is the um, i will show you something like uh, another button i will add another button and i will take try to take the counter here we are having a counter is there right and here in our app component html i will send the counter also so counter counter is equal to counter so i am sending the counter and we'll have a button also for this one change title and change counter okay and when we are having here update counter i will update the counter and let's try to add this one and here also in our app component.ts i will add update update counter and in this one i will do this dot counter plus plus okay so this is our counter and let's go to the lifecycle looks dot component and here we have we are having an another input variable that is counter <coughs> which is of type zero okay so now you will see so now here in our app component.ts instead of this one so instead of using it like this i will try to use this this dot title dot name now this one is an object reference and this one is a simple now here if you try to click on this change counter okay ng on change is fine when you click on this change title only the ng do check is fine so this is what i am trying to explain you so that means here you will you need to understand that ng on changes will fire only when the input data is a primitive value object also it will fire but it will when the reference is changed only then only this ng on changes will be fired so in order to make this fire uh, ng, ng change and all those things means so then you need to use the change direction policy and all those things we will try to uh, uh, learn about this in the future videos and the ng do check will find whenever the component will check for the changes so this ng do check is a little bit different so hope you understood about this ng do check thing so it is one of the main thing important thing and i will commit this uh, code in our new branch 15 hyphen video okay so whoever may be having doubts if you want to refer this code means i will be providing the github repository url in the description below so if you want to refer this code means you can take the clone of that uh, code and you can refer that and here ng do check right ng do check so that's it guys about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you